And I'm a little bit obsessed with people training pigeons, but for good reason. Because I remember B.F. Skinner, there's the legendary pigeon whisperer who could teach a pigeon to turn around in a circle in less than 40 seconds. Back in the 1940s, he was at University of Minnesota and he was bragging about how great his pigeons were. And some of the engineers there were like, hold on a second, can we use pigeons to find battleships? Remember, this is during World War II. Uh, There aren't any fancy pants guidance systems. And if you are out over the Atlantic and you want to find an enemy ship, you can, but it is risky. Uh, And Skinner was like, hang on, you know what? No worries. The pigeons can definitely help with this. So what he did is he made this harness that, that held the pigeon's body nice and still, but still allowed their head to move. And then they created this conductive screen and attached a teeny tiny gold electrode to the beak of the pigeon. Um, the pigeon would watch the screen and, and sort of peck towards a battleship. And then that was all linked to the gliding mechanism uh, of this particular missile. Now, Skinner was a bit worried about, you know, these birds having all the power. So what he did is he made a system that would effectively take votes from three pigeons um, to change the direction of the glider, basically using democracy. And these pigeon guarded missiles, they, they absolutely work. They proved that they could work, but it never quite became a thing because, uh, and I quote here, we had begun to realise that a pigeon was more easily controlled than a physical scientist serving on a committee.